you very much. Next uh, reporter is from Ghana uh, by Mr. Arunian Kiz and Mr. Manuel Kwasi, All Nation University College. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm here. We're here to present some um, on the educational, the launch of an educational miniature satellite, which is a concept as Ghana's first step to space. Um, this is uh, my overview. I'll be giving you a little perspective of Ghana because not many people know about it. And my, my school and our, our, our lab, what we've done, what we're doing, and what we'll do. And my boss here will give the um, history of ISSL. Okay, so Ghana is um, located about um, 5 degrees, 33 minutes north, and about 0 degrees, um, 15 um, minutes west. Its current president is His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, and um, it has a landmass about 92,000 square miles. It has about 25 million people and about 5 main ethnic groups, and about 83 tertiary institutions, of which our college is a part. And it's um, our college is located at that, it's about um, 14,000 kilometers away from here and it's very far and it's this our president, he, that's a Samuel and his wife and um, it has a population of about 3,000 students and it has about 13 faculties of which our lab is a part and our lab is um, was founded um, in February um, 2012 by Engineer um, Kwashi, and this is the team of us that made it. Um, and Mr. Bonsu, who is here present, and Mr. Meka, myself, Kwanza Joseph, Mate, Williams, and Michigan were the seven of us that came together. And we are known to be the first lab to successfully launch um, a handset in Ghana and Sub Saharan Africa. And this is the structure of it it's an educational satellites because it was built by we, the students, and it was built within six to seven months. And um, it was, we used a helium balloon to launch it. And um, it went to a height about 172 meters. Um, um, these are some of its features. We, we had the payload included a camera, uh, a pressure sensor. Um, we used a peak microcontroller and it had a GPS on board. And we designed set, um, several phases. One of the first phase was a conceptual design phase where we were doing, looking at the big picture. And um, we're doing more, more brainstorming. We're doing more of um, 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 payload identification. And it was mostly paperwork. And um, um, the theoretical, um, 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 because we were putting most of the theories together. The next phase was the um, prelim design phase where we're sketching the subsystems and then um, we're doing prototyping. And then um, the next phase was the detail design phase where we went into actual construction, assembly, and the troubleshooting of the, the concept. And um, we finally went to the test of the concept and then the flight test where we dropped it from the heights, from a heights to see how it's before we went into the the launch, the, from from um, the whole flight time took about three minutes um, and 40, 46 seconds, and um, its main mission was data acquisition. So we were taking aerial um, video of the campus, and we were also taking atmospheric measurements, and um, it was successfully launched in um, 15th of May this year. And we had so much media attention, and that's the balloon um, that went was being deployed. And um, that was what actually caught the attention, because right now the ministries are looking into um, furthering um, the course. Um, um, okay, it, we have we gained lots of experience. That's why it's an educational satellite, and everyone was happy. The team was happy. Um, the institution was happy. Um, the nation was happy, <laughs> the continent was happy. Okay, um, right now what we're doing, we're working on a ground station, and um, we hope to be, it's an amateur ground station. Um, we hope to communicate with other CubeSats, 
and hopefully the ISS and um, to be launched somewhere in um, March to next year and um, we hope to work with other members like Amsat, Gensu and the big mother um, 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 uh, UNICEF and um, the next space, the next step is to launch a CASAT-1 which is our first CubeSat it's like um, from 2 to 5 kg um, it's to monitor oil spill, um, deforestation um, 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 and help with urban planning and then um, it will be done somewhere in 2015 so our vision is to see how we could get to use the, kind of the, the, the space and technology to be able to solve our communal problems okay, thank you all right, quickly, the next one. So, uh, going to the insight activities as far as uh, all nations, the investors have been concerned. Basically, we have our free program, we have workshop, we have uh, insight activities, and as well as research uh, activities. Uh, for our, our average program, we have actually gone into two or uh, four institutions. One has to do with, I could say, if they are all high schools, I could say, Mendel High School, going to Pentecost High School. Uh, going to Mass of Paris High School. It's actually um, an institution, not a high school, but going there to also uh, uh, give them some basic concerning uh, space activities. And finally, it has to do with the uh, Ghana Secondary uh, School. With our average activities, these are some of the pictures that uh, can really pick up. And with our workshop, we have previously had uh, two workshops. This lab was born out of the first workshop that we had in uh, 2012. And that was the first workshop that was held. And out of that, we were able to uh, bring this uh, lab into being. And the second was uh, this year, that is <coughs> um, 2013. It was held from March 20th to 21st. And Professor Miyazaki was there, as well as Dr. Yamazaki from the one university. They came to do uh, actually a great job in terms of presentation. They gave an insight as to uh, enlightenment with respect to space activities. And our research, currently we are doing our grant um, station research, which is current um, work that we are doing, which my colleague has already outlined. And the next has to do with our case The moment we are done with the uh, ground station commissioning, then we go into a uh, case development and research. And finally, I want to quickly talk about our activity with respect to uh, UNICEF Ghana. Probably we have, our program has to do with uh, space activities in Ghana. There isn't much space activities in Ghana, so it's become very difficult talking to institutions with respect to uh, satellites and this sort of uh, technology. But currently we are able to talk to uh, GTs, that's Ghana Telecom University Technology, of, uh, techno uh, University Technology, and we have also spoken to Amerikman University of Technology, as well as Ghana Space and Science Technological Institute. These are uh, the institutions that we have already spoken to. We have had series of meetings and hopefully we are hoping to launch it somewhere in, in February next year and hopefully we will be able to uh, gain that activity. So currently, that is what we are doing. I just want to conclude our uh, presentation with acknowledgement. I want to first thank uh, Professor Miyazaki from the Hawaii University who have been helping us so much with respect to anything that we are doing uh, in space. And of course, our top down, I want to thank uh, Red uh, Ashma from uh, UNICEF. Professor Nakasuka, Professor Banzo, who personally trained me in respect to this uh, sort of engineering, and of course, my professor, Professor Akhmanistan. Thank you so much.